Hey guys, welcome to a tutorial by Hello Studios. Today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, make this. Okay, so as you can see, the numbers change sequentially throughout their columns. Um, uh, they sort of rotate. Uh, and I'll show you how to do that. So uh, to start it off, I'd actually like to uh, give a quick shout out to these guys who I got that tutorial idea from. They actually have their own tutorial, but uh, it's in three different parts. And uh, it doesn't cover everything else you cover. Uh, this is also a tutorial I'd like to, to, like to uh, include, incorporate. Um, I used a lot of ideas out of this. So uh, I'd like to thank AE Tuts and uh, Creative Cow. All right, let's jump into it. So here we are in After Effects, and uh, we've made, what I've done here is I've made a composition. So let's, let's start off by making a new composition. Now I'm going to make it 150 by 1500. Okay, and uh, we'll make the duration uh, three minutes long. That's fine. You can make the duration whatever you want. So I'll, what I've done is I've gone into the After Effects preferences here, and I've gone to Grids and Guides, and I've had it show a grid line every 150 pixels. This is very important if you want to have this uh, be set up correctly. So now, as you can see, we have a grid line every 150 pixels. And I'm going to create a new text layer here. Okay. And I'm just going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Now, what the, the idea behind this, what we want to do is we want to uh, bring this up and stretch these out so each number fills up its own box. So I'm just going to use this key over here to stretch it out, and uh, 150 should do the job. Bring it up a little bit there, okay, looking pretty good. I'm just going to change these to another color here. Let's make them uh, white, okay, and uh, so we'll call this Comp 1. Actually, we can rename it here. Oops, we can rename it here. We'll call this Number Original or we'll just call it numbers one. Okay, so we have this numbers one comp over here. Now, uh, we'll make another comp, and uh, we'll make this one uh, approximately, oh, I don't know, uh, 650 by 1500. Okay, and I'm just going to turn off the guides, uh, the grid, excuse me, the grid, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this numbers comp and drop it in here. And I'm actually going to go back into that and add one more thing. I'm going to add a new black solid, just so we have a background color here. So uh, we'll create a black solid, and we make sure that's underneath the numbers so we can see the numbers. And the font I'm using actually is called Crispy, just so you guys, so you're aware of that. Okay. So now I'm going to, in order to have four columns of this, I'm going to duplicate it four times. Command D uh, on a Mac, Control, Control D on a Windows. And I'm going to bring them over like that. So my comp's a little bit wider, so I can just bring it down to about 600. That should do the trick. Uh, a little bit more. It's okay to have it be a little bit bigger, though. It's sort of even, so it looks okay. And, uh, and then I'm going to actually take this and apply a new effect, and the effect is called uh, the effect is called Offset. This is very important. This is very key. So uh, as you can see in my original, excuse me, my thousand numbers here, uh, I've actually taken and I've made four different ones, and uh, I have applied the offset with actually a a uh, expression on each offset, and I'll include these different expressions in the uh, in the in the video description. I don't want to go into it now; it's kind of complex, and I don't understand it completely. So I'll go into that at a later point. Um, probably not in this video, but in the later video, hopefully. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're gonna, we're. I'll just include this in the video description. You can copy it, and uh, we'll jump right into that. So then, what I've got set up here is just a null. That is, uh, it's all these all these things are uh, according to this null. So as this null offsets, this null actually won't offset because I have another thing here. I have another expression here that's looking at the uh, master expression. So um, if we move the master expression to say 2000, you can see, oh, that's 200, 2000, then you can see it actually offsets to 2000, and I can move it up and down. And I'll include how I did that 
as well in the video description. It's uh, just expressions. Now the only expression here is uh, this expression is this null slider is looking at this null slider so I can control it all from the master comp and I don't have to go back into this comp and keyframe it here. It's just for convenience. Uh, a couple other things I've set up here is uh, I have a basic background which is just white and then I've actually incorporated a shadow here so you can see that shadow and then uh, I've got another outside shadow here just give it a nice you know gradient kind of effect and uh, I've got this inside box which is actually uh, pretty easy I just took a black uh, solid we can actually here let's make this so I'll create a new solid I'm going uh, 1280 by uh, 720 okay and that's fine and I'm just gonna make this really quick so let's uh, set up our background layer let's make it white okay and I'll rename it background and then let's have another layer here uh, I'll make this one black and uh, let's hit okay and I'm actually gonna make a mask now I'm gonna use the rounded or re rectangle tool and uh, I'm just gonna make it uh, about that big that seems to be reasonable and if you hit the arrow keys on your keyboard you can actually increase or decrease the amount of uh, of uh, roundness around the corner so that looks pretty good to me um, and then what we've done is we've uh, we've taken our mat we've taken our uh, we uh, we need to make a shadow so what I did there was I created a new solid and I made it uh, semi gray and I've hit OK, hit OK, and then I've taken another ellipse tool, and if you double click on the ellipse tool, you can actually make that, make a perfect circle around the comp, and I'm just going to subtract that, and then feather it out a whole bunch, and then I'm going to lower the opacity to make it sort of fit in the scene a little bit better, be a little less noticeable, and I'll create another solid here for our shadow around this black uh, black solid here, this black mask, and I uh, will uh, just make it black, make it black, and then I will, uh, what I did there was I just double clicked on that as well. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take this and I'm going to move it in, maybe move in these, uh, these corners here, and I'm just going to sort of try to semi-match the, uh, just semi-match what we've got going on here. So uh, maybe, uh, you know, bring it in just a bit more, bring that in a bit more, you know. We're just trying to just trying to get a basic shadow here behind it. So how about that? That looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna feather it out a whole bunch. So we have just a nice little thing going on there. And uh turn down the opacity a little bit and I'm gonna put it underneath that black solid, that black mask. Okay, so now that's actually looking a little too harsh for me. So I'm gonna feather it out a bit a bit more. Okay, looking pretty good. And you can actually, if you uh, go in, you can hide everything that you see by hitting Command-Shift-H. And I'm pretty sure this would cross over to the PC as well. You could probably hit Control-Shift-H to hide everything. That would be all masks and everything you have selected. This uh, composition, I'm not sure what that's called actually. But yeah, you can just hide everything by hitting Command or Control-Shift-H. And then, um, what else did I do? Let's see. Then I had this bold. Oh, first thing was I dropped in the our thousand number, our comp one here. So I applied, I had a new null in this one. And uh, I applied all these to connect to that one. As you can see here, they're all connected to this, this main null. And then this null is connected to this null here, which is our master comp. Um, so let's go back into our second master comp. <laughs> As this gets more confusing. Uh, so then, uh, essentially, then I took a new uh, adjustment layer, and I applied a bulge effect in Distort Bulge, and I just made it bigger, a little bit taller, a little bit bigger. Now this idea, most of these ideas are coming off tutorials that I've seen that I will put in the video description as well. Um, but uh, yeah, so this this idea here actually works really well and it gives you a nice sort of rounded effect here as you can see as we go to uh, if we set a keyframe in our slider control um, and then we set a keyframe for like 2030 you can see excuse me you can see that we have a nice sort of rounded rounded uh, 3d sort of look to it so yeah so it sort of goes 
and I've actually taken and feathered off I've made a mask here and I've actually feathered off that just a tiny little bit so it looks so it kind of feathers away so it's not an abrupt edge uh, just so you guys know and uh, that's all I did basically and uh, that's how I got this and yeah so you can change it to any number you want um, yeah and uh, make sure you guys if you want you can check out my website it's pretty cool it's just a blog uh, that I work on every once in a while I post uh, VFX news and updates for motion graphics and as well as tutorials I'm getting started with tutorials so if you're interested check it out it's uh, hellastudios.net anyway guys have a good day see you guys later